Welcome to today's Yoga Lodis, Yoga and Pilates Fusion for lower body strength and pelvic stability. This is a challenging class, but of course everyone is welcome. Today we'll be exploring unilateral postures to help us really correct any postural imbalances and learn to move with a loving compassion. We'll get started today in a supine position. So taking a moment to comfortably lie down on your back, taking any initial movements if that feels right for you. And when you're ready, extending your legs down onto the mat, pointing your toes, scissoring the inner thighs together, engaging the core. We're gonna start out with some hip mobility. Keeping the left leg straight, begin to bend your right knee and glide your toes towards the inner seam of your left knee. Open the right knee and the hip out to the side. Close off the hip. Raise the right leg skywards, point the toes. Exhale, lower with control. And again, we raise. We open. We close. We lift and we lower with control. Let's go for one more round on this side. Moving with intention, allowing the breath to guide you. Pausing for a moment with both legs extended, relaxing the hips and the glutes. And let's go on the other side. This time moving the left knee and the left hip the rest of the body is staying stable. Pointing the toes, we bend the knee, we open it out to the side, close off the hip, raise the leg, and lower with control. One more round, finding your tempo. Well done, relax the legs, soften the body. And from here, bending the knees, placing the soles of the feet on the earth, about hip width distance apart, heels are underneath the knees. Finding your core engagement, let's come up into a bridge lift, raising the pelvis, the lower back, the mid back. Squeezing the glutes and hamstrings at the top. Doing your best to create a diagonal line between the knees, the hips, and the shoulders. Exhale, lower down with control, well done. On your next inhalation, rise up into a bridge lift. For this variation, we're going to elevate our right heel. And from here, coming into some single bridge lifts, lowering the pelvis down and lifting up with control. This doesn't have to be an exaggerated movement. Move to your own rhythm. Arms are extended the length of the body. Keeping that pelvis stable. How high can you lift your hips? Let's go for a few more rounds. Option to stick with this movement. Otherwise, keep your hips lifted. Raise your right knee into a reverse tabletop and begin to lift and lower the pelvis again. So this time we've got our shin relatively parallel to the mat. Having our right leg elevated is going to really help us turn on the muscles of the left leg. Continue to press firmly into your left heel. This is gonna give you the drive to help you lift your pelvis. Let's go for one more lift. On your next inhalation, keep the pelvis raised. Option to extend your leg, point the toes. And from here, beginning to lift and lower the hips, this time with the leg extended. This variation can be really challenging, so honor what your body needs today. Softening into the upper face, relaxing the jaw, Maybe inviting a smile onto your lips. You can do it. One more round. Beautiful work. Lower the right knee down for a moment. Foot on the earth. Connect with your breath. 
Great work, friends. We're going to stick with the same side. Mindfully elevate into your bridge lift. Again, grounding down through the left foot. Extend the right leg out so that it's parallel to the earth. Raise the leg skywards. Raise the left heel. Lower the left heel down and lower the right leg. Let's go again. We lift the right leg. We lift the left heel. We lower the heel down and we lower the leg. Doing your best to keep that pelvis elevated. If it's too much to lift your left heel, that is okay. You can keep your foot grounded. This is a really challenging exercise. Let's go for one final round. You can do this. You are so strong. Beautiful work. Right foot on the earth, lower the pelvis down. And let's rock up into a tabletop position. For this variation, we'll be coming down onto our forearms, aligning the elbows with the shoulders, switching on the core muscles, extending the left leg back, pointing the toes, and beginning to lift and lower the left leg with control. Pressing firmly into your forearms, spreading the fingertips wide, grounding into the palms and the pads of the fingers. Notice if your left hip begins to externally rotate. Try to square off your hips to the mat, lengthening the crown of the head skywards. We're still working that same leg. Stay with it. Keep the leg up and pulse. How high can you lift your leg? Do your best to find length as well as straightening that leg. Beautiful work, lower down. Keeping the knee bent, let's come into some tiger curl lifts. Lifting the leg and lowering the left knee so that it's aligned with the right knee. Although we're never touching the earth with that knee. Keeping the foot flexed here. Activating the glutes, the hamstrings every time you raise your leg. If you are feeling the heat, you are not alone. We are almost done with this side. Stay with it. From here, keep the leg elevated and let's find some small pulses. Mindfully lifting and lowering that leg a few centimeters. Let's round off practice with some explosive tiger curl lifts. Extending your leg skywards, flexing that foot, engaging the glutes. We're here for five. Last four, three, two, final one, beautiful work. Let's sink our hips back, child's pose. Finding a beautiful release for the back. In horizon to tabletop, let's begin to create some circles with the left knee and the left hip. Scooping around in one direction, and swapping the direction, doing your best to keep the tripod foundation stable. Wonderful. From here, left foot on the earth. Let's rise into down dog. Taking a moment here to pedal out the legs and really stretch out the hamstrings and the glutes. Inhale, raise the left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, let's come into our pigeon pose. Left knee to left wrist. The right foot is pointed behind you. Option to stay upright or hinge into a forward fold. Allowing yourself to find softness. Taking a moment to collect yourself. Still the mind. And when you're ready, let's come into a seated position. Windshield wipe the legs out from side to side once or twice. And let's get prepared to take this series on the other side. You can do this, you know where we're going. Mindfully lowering down, extending the arms the length of the body, guiding the heels under the knees. Gifting yourself a moment to connect with the breath. Letting go of any tension. Letting go of any limiting beliefs. Let's prepare to take this series on the other side. Inhale, rise up into your bridge pose. Find your foundation. Relax the face. 
Notice how your body is responding to this movement. Exhale, lower down, vertebra by vertebra. And let's again lift up, inhale, rise. This time elevating your left heel and beginning to find our single time bridge lifts. We're keeping the right foot firmly grounded, hips are stable. By elevating that left heel, we really have the opportunity to transfer our weight into the back of our right leg, the back of our glutes. Steady breaths. Allow yourself to ease into the movement. Let's go for one more round. From here, raising your leg into a reverse tabletop. Left shin is parallel to the earth, and we lift and lower the pelvis. If you need that additional support, press firmly into the backs of your arms, your forearms, your palms using the support of your right heel to help you drive your hips up. Let's go for two more rounds. Option to stick with this, otherwise we'll extend our left leg. Pointing the toes, we lift and lower. Lift and lower, you can do this. Stay with it. Let's go for two more rounds. Beautiful work, bend the knee, return your left foot on the earth, and lower the pelvis down. Taking one breath here, allowing yourself to soften. When you're ready, let's prepare for our final supine strength series. Pressing into the feet, inhale, raise the pelvis, keep the right foot grounded. Extend the left leg so that it's parallel to the earth. Raise the leg, raise the right heel, lower the right heel, and lower the left leg. We lift the leg, we lift the right heel, we lower the heel, and we lower the leg, just like this. Using your strength, softening the rib cage, engaging all the muscles along the back of your right leg, keeping that pelvis in a neutral alignment. Let's go for one more round. Beautiful work, bend the knee, return your left foot to the earth and lower down bone by bone by bone. Let's rock up into our tabletop position. Lower down onto the forearms, aligning the elbows with the shoulders, switching on the core, and this time extend the right leg back, point the toes and begin to lift and lower that leg with control. Turning on the glutes and hamstrings every time you raise your leg. As well as finding height, we want to find length. So imagine that you can find your longest leg line reaching your toes out behind you. Keeping the hips squared, softening the face. If you notice the mind wandering, guide your awareness to the sensations of this movement, to the breath. Let's go for one more round. And from here, keep your right leg up and pulse. Small pulses, how high can you get that leg? You've got this. Smile, breathe. Well done, let's come into our tiger curl lifts, bending the right knee, lowering it so that it's alongside the left knee and raising the leg, flexing the foot, engaging the glutes every time you lift up. We're here for five, four, three, two, well done, from here, keeping the leg elevated, let's come into our small pulses, ever so slightly raising and lowering that leg a few centimeters, keeping the rest of your body stable. Let's take it home with our explosive tiger curl lifts, extending your leg, pushing your heel into the sky towards the ceiling. You've got it. We're here for three, two, and one. Well done. Coming into child's pose, 
stretch it out, let it all go. Inhale, rise into tabletop. And let's begin to create our hip circles, scooping the knee out in one direction. And swapping the direction of your hip circles. And when you're ready, right foot on the earth, tuck the toes under, send the hips up and back, downward dog. Finding movement or stillness. Inhale, raise the right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, find your expression of pigeon pose. If you'd like a deeper stretch, keeping your right shin parallel to the top of the mat. Otherwise, for a gentler variation, guiding your right heel closer to your left hip. Well done, elevating the torso, transferring your weight into your right glute, scooping the other leg around, and let's find some windshield wipers. Palms behind the back, rocking the knees from left to right. Well done, let's come into a seated spinal twist, crossing the right leg atop of the left, right foot on the outer edge of the left thigh, right palm behind you, and placing your left tricep on the outer edge of your right thigh. Inhale, find length, reach the crown of the head skywards, exhale, twist a little more. Well done, uncross the legs, return the gaze forwards, and let's find this stretch in the opposite direction. If any of these postures feel particularly interesting, feel free to pause the video and hang out there for a little longer. Join us when you're ready. Mindfully releasing from the twist. Extending both legs out in front of you, keeping the right leg extended. Let's flex the left knee, externally rotate the hip, and place the left foot on the inner seam of the right thigh, melting the top of your right leg, coming into head to knee pose, allowing the spine to round, feeling a beautiful lengthening of the posterior chain. Inhale, rise up, extend the left leg, and this time bend the right leg. It's perfectly natural if you have one side of the body that feels more open, more mobile than the other. This is an invitation to be compassionate with yourself. Accept yourself as you are in this very moment. Gently elevating the torso, extending both legs, and we'll come into a seated forward bend. If you have tight hamstrings, know that you can start off with bent knees, resting your belly atop of your thighs, and if that feels okay, maybe extending your legs. And know that you always have the option to point the toes. This is going to help take any pressure away from the sciatic nerve. So find what works for you and breathe. Great work, friends. Let's gently come up into a seated position. Roll the shoulders back. And you might like to create one or two gentle half circles with the head and the neck. Releasing the upper back. On your next inhalation, raise the arms skywards. Exhale, bend over to the right. Lateral spinal flexion. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend to the left. Let's go for one more stretch in each direction, lengthening the side body. 
Wonderful. Raise the torso, roll the shoulders back, and join your palms together at heart center. Thank you so much for today. Sending you love and light. May you be well.